The viral video sparking an investigation by the San Jose Fire Department. Add in more news coming up on Sinkton. Hey everyone, lots of people are talking about this video. It shows a woman in a bikini getting out of a San Jose fire truck and walking into the Pink Poodle Strip Club. There are apparently reports the fire crew was responding to a medical call at this place, but the department hasn't confirmed or provided further details. The video itself doesn't show a firefighter around, but the truck's emergency lights, as you can see, are on, and a retired SJFD captain says personnel cannot leave those trucks unattended unless instructed to do so. Though the former captain does add, on certain calls, people are allowed inside the rig for medical or weather reasons. I'm not making excuses. I don't know. But we've done those things, of course. Patients inside the cabin. Something, something at the time happens and you bring them in for whatever reason. NBC Bay Area reached out to the Pink Poodle but hasn't heard back. SJFD says it's investigating the video. Okay, they're only miles apart, yet they're on opposite sides of the spectrum. A new report by the personal finance website Wallet Hub ranks the safest and riskiest cities to live in the United States, and several Bay Area cities made the list, including Oakland and Fremont. Check this out. Fremont ranked the highest among California cities as the 17th safest city in the country, while on the opposite end, Oakland ranked among the riskiest cities, coming in at number 175 out of 182 major cities considered. Santa Rosa, San Jose, and San Francisco are also on the list. Wallet Hub says it calculated the ranking using 42 key indicators, including law enforcement employees per capita, unemployment rate, and natural disaster risk level. What are your thoughts on the ranking? In other news, the San Francisco Giants have a new GM, 33-year-old Pete Patella. The announcement was made Monday night. For those who don't know who Patella is, here's a quick bio. He's a Pennsylvania native, started his career with the Houston Astros as an intern back in 2011, and worked all the way up to assistant GM. That's the role he was most recently in, did that for three years, and in total did 12 seasons with the Astros. Giants president Farhan Saidi says, What's really exciting about Patella is his extensive background in player development. Congrats to him. Well, when you first said, what's a Bay Area moment, I thought earthquakes. Yeah, I was here for 89, but that gave me great perspective for all the other ones that we've had along the way, especially in regards to breaking news and being ready for it. All right, guys, that is all I've got for you today. Thanks for watching.